gentleman from Florida, Mr. Jimenez, for his five minutes of questioning. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I was fascinated by my, my colleagues' um, you know, uh, questioning, line of questioning. Um, somewhere I was going to go to, uh, maybe not as quite as eloquently as him. I'm not, not running for attorney general or anything. Um, Mr. Bowman, um, you say in your testimony, written testimony, and some the foundational requirements for impeachable high crimes and misdemeanors is that they must be extraordinarily seriousness and, and ought to be of the type that corrupts or subverts governmental processes or the constitutional order. And I find that, you know, I, 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 I underline that specifically because I wanted to ask you, do you believe that the, that the death of 200,000 Americans from fentanyl overdoses, is that, is that extraordinarily serious? It's certainly an, an, a serious matter and one that has to be addressed by this body by exercising its constitutional legislative powers to work with the, leg with the executive branch um, to address the policy. The problem that you have that you're confronting here. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, good. that's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reclaim my time now that you've answered the question. Thank you very much. Okay. And then and, and it ought to be of the type that corrupts or subverts governmental processes or the constitutional order. Now. You know, I'm not a you know I'm not a constitutional scholar, et cetera, but I do believe that the 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 Constitution is set up to have three distinct branches of government. You have legislative, you have judicial, and then you have the administrative branch. And and the founding fathers wanted a balance of power. Is that is that what you get from the from the Constitution and the founding fathers? What they wanted to do, the balance of power. Mr. Bowman. Indeed. Okay, and so. The, it's, it's up to the legislative branch to actually create the laws, and the will of Congress is supposed to be then carried out by the administrative branch. Is, am I off on that, or is that what the Founding Fathers thought should have happened? In general, yes. Okay. And so we have this issue of policy versus law. And, and if I read, if I get you right, you believe that this is a question of policy, but I don't believe it's a question of policy. I believe it's actually a question of violating the law. The law clearly states that people coming into the United States or, or people seeking asylum in the United States, two things happen to them. They're either detained by, here in, in country or they're, they're detained in another country waiting the outcome of their, of their asylum hearing. That's what the law says. Um, the law also says that the, the executive branch actually has the right to parole, but on a case-by-case -case basis, not mass, mass, mass uh, parole. And so the, the Mayorkas administration, the Biden Mayorkas administration is actually violating both. They're, they're not detaining people coming in, either, or they're, they're not keeping them in a third country, and they're not detaining the United States, and they're also allowing mass, my, mass parole, which violates the clear intent of Congress. Is it your opinion that the only, that, that this is a policy issue and that the, the, uh, the Biden administration has the right to clearly subvert the will of Congress? My opinion, Congressman, is that disputes over the exercise of discretion by the Secretary um, are difficult. They're being resolved in the courts. Um, I'm, and I must say that those disputes have not yet been finalized. Indeed, the only cases involving those disputes that have made it up the Supreme Court uh, have resulted in rulings uh, in, in favor of the Secretary and of the President. Uh, essentially, this is an ongoing legal and policy dispute, um, and it is, it is not, therefore, the kind of thing for which uh, impeachment should be used. Well, I, I believe that, you know, that we are at a crossroads here because I do believe that uh, we, Congress, have given way too much leeway to, to the administrative branch, if that's the case. This is clearly the intent of, of, of Congress was uh, people coming to the border need to either stay in, a, in, a, in a, another country or they need to be detained. And it clearly was that parole was to be do, done on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, I don't believe that there's an issue of policy. It's an issue of violating the law. And that violation of the law has actually caused, has actually led to mass suffering in the United States. 
uh, 200,000 Americans dying because of fentanyl overdose. And I disagree with my, with my colleague on the other side that says it's a question of, of voluntarily stopping using drugs. Actually, m a lot of these deaths are caused by people that don't even know they're taking fentanyl. They're thinking they're taking something else. Uh, and it's laced with fentanyl. Uh, and so, you know, if, if, it's, if, it's, if we're down to that, where every single time that there is a, that, that the administration decides to violate the law, that we have to impeach somebody, I guess then we, we need to impeach somebody. And so with that, uh, you know, I yield my time back. The